What is up everybody, it is time for the massive Zero Zoo's annual sale. But this time around, it is only in the US of A. I don't know why. I guess they have their reasons. People say we might get a sale in the EU, but even if we do, it's probably gonna be like a BS sale. And I'm extremely disappointed. I get that they have the reasons, but at the same time, you're the second biggest perfect company and the EU website is not something you can just ignore. Of course, there's also the UK and stuff, but the whole region of EU, which is so central to so many barefoot companies and the barefoot culture, you're gonna just ignore us, okay? Whatever, either way, we're gonna make a video here, evaluate those uh, discounts and see which models are worth buying for you, because there are so many models from Zero right now. Now, let's start off with the HFS 2. This shoe, everybody's talking bad about it, and I agree from what I've seen. I haven't had it, because I cannot just keep buying those shoes, unfortunately. Maybe if Series 0 sends me some, eventually we'll uh, do some more reviews, but... Yeah, HFS 2. By the way, I'm gonna put affiliate links for the US site. I think I have those. But yeah, you know, if you wanna help out the channel, you can use those and the thing is it's a phase two they're saying it's stiffer they're saying it's more narrow but at the same time it's 48 dollars which is insane for a branded big company shoe of course the site is not working again there used to be a queue now as you can see it's no it will not give me the price it gives me a price range i don't oh, okay here is the price down there right now it used to be that I would just change the price here, but now they change it down there. So yeah, 48 euros. You can get them in the white grey, which is the classical HFS color. The black, for some reason, is not discounted. This ridiculous color here is also going to be cheaper. The new color is not going to be cheaper. They have them in orange. That's very interesting. And those are out of stock, and this is 108. So yeah, in my opinion, that's a huge down step, whatever you want to call it, from the HFS one. It's less flexible, which HFS was all about flexibility. It's narrower. HFS was already a bit narrow. This thread I don't like. I think you're going to have zero grip in the wet. I guarantee you will not grip in the wet. From what I've seen from uh, zero soles and also this thread pattern doesn't work in the wet. That's a good hybrid trail sole, but this is a road running model, so you're gonna be wearing it on, on the road. You're probably gonna wear it through the lags very, very fast. So, not the best shoe, but if you're transitioning, maybe this is an actual transition shoe. It's a bit more cushioned, a bit stiffer. That's a good transition shoe. An Ultra is not a transition shoe. It has this much stack height. That's not, there is no transitioning going down there. Right? Okay, it's zero drop, but whatever. There's no transition there. This is a transition shoe. If you're gonna go for that, you can. It's very cheap. 48 euros. Just give it a try. Who cares? Prio and Prio Neo. Around 50 to 60 dollars. Also very, very nice. Of course, this is the classical model. It's a bit steeper than the original HFS. I'm not sure how it compares to the HFS 2. But that's a tougher model. This is a good all around shoe. If you want something that will last a long time. And the Prio Neo actually looks good they did the olive but this is not the best looking olive yeah you could get this you know not bad and the classical zero which is this is the prio but this is a suede isn't it whatever maybe the prio is now the prio said and the prio neo is the prio i'm not sure what's going on nexus neat 10 percent discount that's not a discount Great looking shoe, but especially this black and white, why not? Looks basically like a regular shoe, like a shoe performs fine, it's a good shoe. You can get this for sure, but it's only 10%. So I'm not sure if I should even talk about the 10%. This is like, that's not an actual discount, that's $7, who cares? I mean, if you're gonna, gonna buy it anyway, why not? But those are cheap, those two are cheap. Um, the problem with those is that this is artificial wool, I'm not a big fan of that, 
but it's cheaper than real wool, so why not go for it if you don't mind? Of course, it's not gonna be as antimicrobial or you know have all those properties of wool, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Why not? Ridgeway now has a 30%. That's a good thing because that's an expensive. So if you can get this for under 100 euros, waterproof hiking boot. Of course, it's stiff. It's closer to the traditional hiking boot, but still, it's a great model. So you absolutely go for the Ridgeway, and they also have. This, oh yeah, I love the olive. Nice. This one, the foreign rock, very, very nicely designed. Now, of course, you have the black, that's, that looks like a Chinese zoo. And this, not bad, I guess, whatever. But the olive and this, I really like those. Moving on, you have the new Ridgeway Mess Low, only 10%, so not really a discount, but it looks really good. It's gonna be a stiffer, nice. Mixed trail shoe looks good, very durable, most likely. So yeah, it's not a bad option at all. If you want, if you again, if these are, if you're transitioning, maybe that's a good deal for you. I don't actually believe in transition shoes. I don't see the reason to use them. But if you do like big mileage and stuff, or if you do big runs and stuff, then you will benefit from more supportive shoe. If you have like specific goals that your feet cannot handle right now because you haven't transitioned yet. So, for a very long hike, this is going to be a good option. Then you have the Scrambler Low, which is a bit stiffer than the Mesa Trail, but it has the Michelin Sole. I have heard that the Michelin Sole doesn't grip on the wet, at least on pavement, but it should be good off-road. That's also, they have so many options, guys. So, I guess the most lightweight trail shoe is the Mesa Trail, and then we got the Scrambler, and then we got the Ridgeway. So, they, there's something for everybody. That's actually very important. And then you have, of course, the mid, which is the mid 2, though, which looks a lot better than the first version, especially in this desert color. Looks better. Everybody was saying for the first version that it was stiff. I think this is going to be similar. That's, that's a stiffer kind of boot, for sure. But at least it's lightweight, right? And then you have the waterproof version, which only comes in black. Again, 10%. So, But the actual scrambler mid 2, 50% and it's covered low 50%. Actually, just notice that that is like less than $80 or around $85 for a full hiking shoe. Not bad. Of course, it's not the waterproof version because the waterproof version is going to be $170, which is very, very, very expensive for a zero. $170. They're starting to push it. I don't think they call it this up there for such an expensive. Uh, too. But if it works and it's waterproof, if it's waterproof for you, it has the Michelin sole, so it's a good, it's a solid option. So yeah, why not, I guess. Speed Force 2. We don't get this glorious and gorgeous shoe. We don't get it in Europe. We don't get it at all. That's one of the flagships, flagship models. We don't get it at all. I don't know why. I have a thought which pisses me off that maybe that's because the Speed Force 1 didn't sell well but the Speed Force 1 looked horrible nobody's gonna buy a horrible looking shoe great shoe but it looked horrible this looks amazing, this looks perfect that's a perfect, this is probably the best looking shoe in my opinion, for my taste yeah, it looks a bit weird here but it's just a great looking shoe this is basically an HFS 1 isn't it? looks very looks just as light and flexible yeah, so I guess the closest to the SFS one right now is this because HFS doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, 50% off, 56 euros. I'm not sure which color that is for, but holy, that is, that is sweet, that is sweet. Let's see. Okay, so, yeah, okay, you have the blue. No, that's a good looking shoe. I'm not sure why it didn't sell and they discounted it, but this is. A great color. I was gonna get the white, but also this. I was between those. You can get this for 55. That's ridiculous. But the black is gonna be 100. So, Mesa Trail waterproof. Nice waterproof trail shoe. Only 10% off, though. I absolutely love this new colorway. I would absolutely buy this. But just keep in mind with a waterproof trail shoe, you have a low cut, so water is gonna get uh, through the top. So, I don't know, but it's good for running around and stuff. That's really good. Like splashing through puddles, that's really good. But it has the old school 
trail so if you wear this on a wet pavement you're gonna go for a ride it's gonna be a worse slide everywhere you go this is a nice this is an amazing sole for dry terrain absolutely amazing for dry terrain but if you have to step in on like hard wet surfaces you might struggle with this they should be making a waterproof scrambler and they're not oh yeah they have the mid but they don't have the low so yeah a better option would probably be a scrambler low waterproof but if you're gonna get the mesa trail why not and also because this is a very lightweight and breathable shoe by default even with a membrane it's probably gonna be okay in multiple circumstances and weather conditions and temperatures it's probably gonna be better than most waterproof shoes because it's built on an absolutely absolutely lightweight uh, platform so why not it's only 10 percent so why are we talking about and you have the old school models of course for the trainer and 360 they've been discounted those like crazy for the past year and guys that version of the Forza Runner looks amazing for casual use. I think I had the review filmed, I never uploaded it. The problem is this collar is not actually elastic. So this is a slip-on shoe, basically, without an elastic collar. So it's a pain in the ass to get on. And that's an issue. If this was elastic, this would be an absolutely perfect shoe, guys. It looks so good. It looks like a regular sports shoe. Nobody's gonna know it's barefoot. And this apart from like this blue thing here it doesn't uh, like in real life it looks a bit weird this blue line because it goes all the way back and then it does like the finland flag thing and this is like huge look it's like a huge blue portion there's nothing in there there's no logo there. i don't know actually it might paint mine white <laughs> so we'll see what, how it goes and yeah great shoe though for the trainer it looks like a kid shoe but i guess it's good for like weightlifting and stuff that's a nice that's a sweet color 60 percent guys you're getting those so cheap like people complain about prices on the barefoot shoes all the time apart from the chinese shoes you can get those and discounted so so cheap like 50 euros for a whole pair and those aren't gonna last you a while trust me you're gonna last you years 360 of course another awesome model of course the new color is going to be hyper expensive this isn't even available this isn't available this is hyper expensive this isn't available and this because that's not the best looking color for this shoe it's going to be discounted but still so yeah it's very cheap very cheap but the color is problematic this is probably the best color for this shoe this is the color i have that's not bad but it's going to be pattern seven so not really discount so yeah that's it for those models of course i'm looking at the male version i don't have to go with the female the female version guys they have some really really good looking models like amazing paint jobs and stuff but uh you know whatever now the zelen 60 percent amazing shoe but i had to sell mine because those are the only, probably the only model from Zero that have the goddamn Vivo Barefoot Toe Box that just destroys your outer toes. This is not designed for outer toes. This is designed, I don't know, specific, very specific sloped feet. Absolutely hate that. Couldn't wear those. Was annoying my outer toes. Gave me Vivo Barefoot last bags. Screw that great shoe but only if it fits your feet right born to run shoes that is an absolute clown shoe of a shoe i don't know what what on earth who like this is like you it's like did you lose a bet what, what is this design this is a literal clown shoe this is like ronald mcdonald coloring like <laughs> i know some of you like this and you bought this but what the f that is atrocious this year, oh this is like a Happy Meal gift kind of color. I don't know. That's a Zelen and that's a Mesa Trail, but Born to Run, you have an opportunity for a special paint job. You want to see what Vivo Barefoot does with a special paint job like the JJF? You want to see the difference here because 
those are competitors. And they're not really when it comes to styling, are they? Like, who... Who okays those design designs? I don't get it. Look. What is the good JJF stuff? What is the... Do they even have those? Um... Maybe they are done with JJFs. I haven't taken a while. I cannot really wear with your barefoot because of the shapes. Whoa, look at this. Okay, maybe I come do some uh, window stopping later, but. Uh, uh, what? what happened to the JJFs? I don't know, I guess they're gone. Anyway, this gives you an idea. They did camo, guys. Camo is so absolutely cool, especially when it comes active wear suits just do a camo dude it's not rock inside do a camo there are so many cool camos you can do like you could do whatever black camo digital good land snow yellow so many camos you can do and you come out with a clown suit i don't get it but whatever that's it so if you want to buy them knock yourself out dylan minus 30 percent that's a great shoe, but Phil Grounds is better. Yeah. More flexible, better looking, doesn't have freaking ventilation holes. That's, that's a casual shoe, you're putting ventilation holes. Where did you see this? Nobody does this. And there is a reason for that. Bad design. The leather is a better option. But again, you have groundies in this case. Real leather. And they look exactly like, like the groundies universe is exactly the same. So much for the zero affiliate rate. <laughs> I just have to be honest, guys. That's low shoes. I don't whatever. This is a Stan Smith, guys. Uh, bought those for a friend. Nobody knows they're barefoot. Now this angle, of course, is not favorable, but this is a Stan Smith. Nobody knows they're barefoot. It looks exactly the same. I've seen friends wear the Stan Smith and these side by side. They look the same. So good stuff. And then you have. You could still get a Dylan though. Not very discounted, but whatever. Kind of a slip-on. Not a bad choice. This actually looks better than the field ground slip-on. This looks like a grandma suit, but the black one, maybe you can rock it. The Glen, that's one of my favorite zero shoes. Guys. Oh, look at this new color. Oh, I'm gonna get this. Guys, that's a gorgeous. That's a gorgeous shoe. Like up close looks perfect perfect casual shoe looks exactly the same like like the regular shoes that you see on this barefoot absolutely real leather absolute classic design absolutely get the glen but it's only 10 percent so whatever sunrise we don't get very nice colors but it is what it is minus 60 minus 10 Ali. here's the prior seat that's the same isn't it is, is this not the same oh, wait a minute why, how is this different than... God, it's lagging. Than this. This is the same shoe. This is not suede. It looks like... Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's plasticky. Anyway, you have the HANA. 10%. Kelso old school model looks weird, wouldn't buy it, but it's cheap. Try all day, absolutely gorgeous. So if you're working like in, in the industry of like cooking and stuff, you on a wet terrain, you want something at least easy, that's absolutely a gorgeous shoe. Absolutely get this if you're a professional in the hotel hospitality, you know, whatever restaurant industry, that's gonna be absolutely great choice. Or maybe an maybe electrician, whatever, you know, where it boots, whatever, you can wear those. Absolutely great shoe. Then you have the Denver in suede, is this uh, suede? Or no, I think this is fabric. Again, great looking shoe. Great looking casual shoe. Boot. And the leather version. And you have the Ridgeway Chelsea. Absolutely love a Chelsea boot. So convenient for like putting in and out. This is absolute leather. Nice thread pattern. This is the Ridgeway thread pattern, I believe. 
Absolutely, that's a great option. This is a new suit. Absolutely great option. I would get them. No questions asked. In black as well. But it's only 10%, so not the point of the video, I guess. But you have a 60% off on the Mesa Trail too. That is tip. This is the best trail shoe of all time, in my opinion. Absolutely lightweight, flexible, durable, nice outsole for gripping stuff. Not so much in the wet, but anything else, it will do. Absolutely great shoe. 48 euros for some of the colorways. What a steal. I keep adding those. Oh, it's quick add. Okay. <laughs> the Teraflex 2, basically free. $33. Whatever, the spy. The spy gem shoe. Doesn't really matter. $33? Seriously? Also, a great trail shoe. Stiffer than this, but more hardcore. I think it has more aggressive lugs too. Let me look at the... Okay, let's first of all, let's do the forest. Yeah, I think those are a bit more aggressive, but I'm not sure. But I think so. And then you go, the final page, probably we have sandals here. Some of them. Aqua export. Now this is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna be back with the part two. See you.